Hey guys, this is Ruby as always, and welcome back to the Tech World 2 FTV Let's Play. So guys, last episode we set up this cool little monitor to uh, monitor our our uh, our reactors downstairs. So I've modified the script. Uh, 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 there we go. Oof. And I've removed the fuel heat, and I've just kept the casing heat. And I kept this one tabbed down a couple, so we got plenty of room between these two. And if we come down here, I actually moved the computer down here. Um, so the script, nothing really changed in the script except I just got rid of the section that talked about the uh, about about the actual fuel heat. So out here, since we moved the computer down there uh, and out from out here, we had to hook up a wired modem to it and hook up some networking cable. So if you guys do that, make sure that you do hook up a uh, wired modem. Uh, this guy is still here. He's still hanging out, doing stuff. So, so guys, today is Saturday. You guys may already be kind of wondering to yourself, where's the stream at? Uh, this today, there's not going to be a stream, unfortunately. Uh, I had some family stuff I need to go take care of today, so uh, streaming was off the schedule. But we're going to do it tomorrow on Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. So today, guys, what we're going to set up is, uh, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need two redstone ports for the big reactors. Uh, this is <clears throat> so that we can tie redstone signals or pulses to do certain things to the reactors. So if we come down here, where we're going to want to put these guys is we're going to want to put them somewhere that we can get to kind of easily. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> but where will that be? Let's just go here. Boop. And let's go ahead and reactivate you. Turn back on, guy. So here's the UI for the redstone port. So you can pick a setting. So, for example, you can turn the reactor on and off, the control rods, pretty much all the cool stuff that you can do with everything else uh, you can do in um, with the redstone port. So for this one, we're going to do toggle reactor on and off. We want it to be set on signal so that uh, depending if, if it has a redstone signal, that means it's on and so forth. And you want to click commit. And hey, turn on for me, please. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Okay. So uh, this other one, we'll just stick this guy right here to be, uh, well, lost that piece of glass forever. Uh, we'll keep you off. <laughs> And let's go ahead and... Did I put these? I didn't put those in my system. Dang it. Let's go ahead and do that because these guys are very, very useful. Uh, and what I mean is that the uh, transmitters and the receivers from Wireless Redstone. Okay, so there's our first one. And we'll need to teach it how to make one of these guys. And then one of these guys. And then we need to teach it. It knows how to make that. It needs to know how to make this. And I think that's it. You know how to mix. Actually, it doesn't know how to make stone slabs. We'll go ahead and teach it that. And I think that's all we need for this. Yep, I think we're good there. Okay, so that's for the transmitter. The receiver's a little different. We're going to have to teach it how to make these disk things. So we'll go ahead and teach it that. Then it needs to learn how to make this. Once it needs, it knows how to make this already. So that's actually all we need, right? Oh, we need to teach it how to make a bowl. One receiver dish. And it needs a stone bowl, yeah, okay. All right, I think that's all we need for it. So we'll put all this stuff in here. And if we go ahead and tell it we need two transmitters, and we'll go ahead and tell it we need two receivers. Let's see, are we missing anything? Obsidian tool rod. Dang it, we messed those up. Which one of these is using obsidian tool rod? This one. Obsidian stick. Obsidian stick. Obsidian stick. Alright, so you give me an obsidian stick. And we'll stick this guy in here, replace that, re-encode it, and now we can stick this guy back in there, and you should be good. 
So now you should, yeah, you should change them. There we go. So now if we look up wireless, boom, boom, there we go. So now we've got both of them, which is cool, cool, cool. And I think we're going to need some red net cable too. I think that can only make eight at a time, yeah. Because we don't have any of the cool red alloy wire, uh, which is a really cool uh, <clears throat> wire from Project Red. But Project Red is not in this pack, unfortunately. So how we're going to want to do this is we're going to get our our receiver right 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 there <laughs> and uh we'll get our other uh oh this might be a problem oh please don't complain hopefully that doesn't break anything okay and then we'll get this other guy here cool and let's go ahead and set these guys to two this guy is going to be 2001 this guy is going to be 2002 and if we hook up this red net cable, now is there any way we can stop you from connecting to people? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay, we'll set you to white. Because that's kind of the default color. And we'll go ahead and set you here. And you're all set to white. Now let's change you at the bottom there. Yeah, we'll put you on yellow as well. And we'll need to go ahead and not do that. We need to somehow get... Alright, and we're back. I crashed when I clicked on it. So let's actually break this guy real quick. And let's go ahead and set that to set on signal. And then we'll connect our red net port here. And let's go ahead and set you to yellow. And we should be good. So now that we got these guys hooked up. Uh, woof. Yeah, let me know if there's maybe a better wire we can use than RedNet. I'm not sure if that's available. And you got to remember, I'm in Tech World 2. Don't forget that. And I swear if you tell me to use Red Alley Wire after I just said it's not in this pack, I'm not going to reply to you with something nice. <laughs> so the next thing we want to do is we want to get a... And we want to get these advanced information panels. We want to get dose of these puppies, and I think we're missing something for this. Yeah, we need lime dye. How do we how do we make this? Oh, like that. Easy enough. No, with bone meal. There we go. No. I can already tell I'm gonna have to <laughs> tell it how to make this. Uh and give me some bone meal. We'll clear it. Put that guy there, this guy here, encode that. And we'll have to come back there. There we go. We'll go ahead and throw these guys in there. This guy should start making stuff. He's got to compress some carbon and stuff, uh, which is all being done with our industrial craft. Why do I keep wanting to say it's industrial information panel? I think they changed the names, or that's the regular one. And I added a new recipe, by the way, is that we added to our ME interface how to make the carbon plates. So uh, to do that, we just told it to make raw carbon mesh and make it come to the compressor here. So that's all good. So now that we got these guys, these guys are really, really cool. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to set these two guys right there. And we're going to set that guy to the power plus, And that's so that we don't have to give it a signal. Now we are going to need something I totally forgot, or do we? Yeah, we totally do. Okay, yeah, we need a text card. Uh, so you make them like that, and I'm totally not going to make them by hand, because I'm now lazy. See what you guys did to me? Y'all made me lazy. Now I don't ever want to do stuff. Oh, crap, we need paper. <laughs> I really got to set up a, a paper farm. I think, wait, we have some at the farms. I wonder if that thing's gotten anywhere. Because we set that up, I think, during a stream. We set up, like, a couple things of... Let's go check. Because I know it had cactuses. Oh, jeez. What was that? Oh, it's the close to the farm. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Okay. How you doing? You're not doing that good. You need to get a move on or something. Okay, let's go back to the house. 
What's our glowstone looking like? 333,000. <laughs> That's so ridiculous, but... <laughs> so does it know how to make paper? It doesn't know how to make paper. Uh, we'll teach it how to make paper. There you go. You should be good now. That should last me a little while, hopefully. And there's our two text cards. Alright, we'll go ahead and slap these puppies up there. That is a big E. So we're gonna re we're gonna name this one reactor number one. Easy enough, right? And then see this thing we can set it to do all kinds of crazy stuff with angles. And it's pretty cool. So we could even tell this thing to go back like that. And we could have it point down at us like that. Which is kinda cool, but uh pretty useless. So we'll get this guy to go back down here, and then we'll actually set that guy to flat so he's just right up against the wall like that. And then we can set the color like so. So we'll set this to black and green. Oops, I didn't set right. Black, please. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing for this guy. We'll set him to really small. And then we're going to rename him reactor number two set him to black and green and that should be good so the next thing we need to do is we're actually going to need to hook up these transmitters so let's get some extra blocks here and let's go to the back of our house do, 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 do. here we go and what we're going to need to do eh, 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 there we go. It's set up some... Eh, dang it. We're going to have to go to it from inside the house, apparently. Uh, <laughs> is we're going to set up these transmitters here and here. And reactor 1 was 2001. And reactor 2 was 2002. So we'll go ahead and uh, set these guys back down like this. We'll get a couple levers super simple right so if we go take a look real quick let's actually turn this guy off I'm sorry uh -oh. and now if we tell this thing to turn on reactor one we should see it turn on yeah there we go so basically how this is gonna work is we tell it to take the redstone signal so that if it's getting a redstone signal then we want it to turn on and if it's not getting a redstone signal we want it to stay off so that even means with reactor 2 we can switch this one on and if we give the script a couple seconds to update you can see it's actually true and it's going to turn on and start producing us lots and lots of uh, RF and then of course we can do the same thing turn reactor 1 off and it will actually turn off pretty cool stuff and, of course, I think eventually we're going to have to set up our control room. Let's go see how all our quarries are doing. I haven't been AFK in much. I've been super busy. I probably haven't even logged into FTB, into this world, for almost a whole week. Because <laughs> uh, this weekend I pre-recorded like crazy, so uh, I think it was like, what, Sunday? And I didn't have to record again until Friday night. <laughs> It would have been freaking Saturday night if I hadn't uh, had family stuff to do. So, let's see. So, this should be all good. This is good for now. This will at least keep us going for now until we build the control room. Because uh, that is a uh, desire of mine. <laughs> and one thing I really wish we could do was set up information panels to read these three guys right here. I wish we could, but it's not possible. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. There's a lot of glowstone in there. So, uh, right now I'm putting signs on all of these. Now I'm naming them stuff like BR Mon, so Big Reactors Monitor. So I'll kind of know what they are, but... Uh, there's a lot of heads in there. Jeez, okay. Uh, but I'm going to name them that for right now. And that's just if, in case you guys actually download my world save you'll be able to tell which one is which if you say don't remember what the different computers were 
Like if you didn't know, BR Mon was the big monitor's reactor, or the, the big monitor's reactor, <laughs> the big reactor's monitor. So I'm just doing that for you guys' the sake. If you download my world and want to play in it, and I think stuff's still going over, over there strong. Yeah, they still hurt. <laughs> so uh, give me a few seconds here, guys. Let me prepare some more stuff for the next part of this episode, and we'll be right back. So here we are over here at the farms. So something that I wanted to go ahead and set up was I think we should just go ahead and get our uh, sugarcane farm. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off because uh, we have enough. <laughs> uh, oh, what am I doing? I'm clicking on the wrong thing. Uh, let's go ahead and break this. Take so long while flying. There we go. So that'll just stop that from running. Oop, did I not pick it up? Hey. Oh, never mind. Pfft, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought I broke this for some reason. Okay, so basically, what we're gonna want to do. Good job. Good job, guy. Is we want to expand this whole operation here. Now, how much does this in increase it by? Seven. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, right here will be... Uh, let's get some blocks real quick. Now, there's a couple ways we could do this. Now, I'm obviously going to use the MFR way of doing it, using a harvester. Uh, something else cool, but I figured we've done enough computer craft. We could use, like, turtles or something if we want it. So uh, here's one, two, three, four, five. I lost count already. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this will be the edge of our... This is kind of in the way. So let's go ahead and we'll move it. Come here, guy. Aww. We lost that sprinkler. And there we go. Whoopsies. Let's go ahead and break all those cactuses. Alright. And this will at least get us going. And we'll go ahead and take you with us. Whoops. And then we'll go ahead and claim that back, and we'll take this chest. There we go. And we're going to take you with us as well. So, where should we set this up? This might be a good area right here next to the glowstone farm. So, let's actually go ahead and make us a little working room here. Just to clear out some area here. There we go. Perfect. So, let's see. So, if we want this thing seven from here, so this is going to be one, whoa, crazy frame drop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So, this will be our, uh, our whole farm right here, and then... Of course, from this three, if we go three, so there's the three by three by normal. If we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that'll be the edge of our farm. That's pretty big. It's a pretty big sugarcane farm. And so let's go ahead and build it, shall we? So actually, let's keep this here for now. And if this is going to be our three by three, Let's just make sure we remember where it's at. And we'll probably want to clear out this area here. This uh, lava might be a bit of a problem. So I'm sorry, lava pool. You were cool while you lasted. Alright, and let's just make sure we don't get any creepy crawlies spawning up in here with us. And there's our seven right there. 
So boop, boop. And we'll go ahead and knock that out. And we just need to make us a nice little uh, cube here. And where does it start? Here? Perfect. So that's, this is our going to be our farm room here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, completely mess up our area here. Crap. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's our three by three. Perfect. Like a glove. Like a glove. So, like I was saying, what I'm going to go ahead and do real quick, guys, is I'm going to actually start laying out the water here for us. Uh, Cause that's really repetitive. You guys don't need to see me do that, and uh, we'll pick it up from there. All right, guys. So here we are. So I have laid out a bunch of one by one water cells here, and uh, so basically how this is going to work. This is where the harvester will go. We can go ahead and place it down. Sure. There we go. Go ahead and pop that upgrade in there. And uh, oh, thank you. <laughs> It's not a piece of grass for us. So basically, uh, this will be sugarcane, 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 sugarcane. The guy's going farther than I thought he would. Well, oh, I don't have any bone mill. This doesn't work on the ground, does it? No. Huh. Okay, we may need to do some testing. We may actually get to go further out than I thought we would. Well, uh, let's actually get some bone mill. Let's see. How far will it go? Dun, dun, dun. How far will it go? Looks like it cleared out this whole area here. So how about over here, guy? Can you go this far? Looks like you go that far. Okay, now what about right here? If I, uh, if I give you some stuff to go right there, would you do it? Okay, you're very picky. But you'll go right here, you'll go right here. You will go over there, right? Nope. And there you go. And shoo. Okay, so let's see. When it restarts, let's see where the where the cutoff point is. Did I not count try to go swear I counted that right? I don't know, maybe I can't count. You guys will definitely let me know in the comments. I know that much. <laughs> so, okay, come on, any day now, Harvester. Let's just, uh, let's see. How far can you go? Holy crap, that far? Okay. So. You can stop right there. Okay, well, that sounds like a plan to me. Looks like I got a little bit more work on my hands here to uh, bring this water out some more. All right, so here we are. I expanded it out. We're able to fit two more uh, blocks of water in that area. So where we want this thing, I actually placed this wrong. So it's actually going to be able to go one further because we want to place this guy eh, 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 right there. There we go. Sorry about that. And we'll place you there. So, what does that mean for us? Does that mean anything? Not really. Okay. Uh, well, we could probably do one more row here. Since he'll be able to get to here now. Ah, screw it. I'm not going to cut again. We'll just do this real quick. <laughs> and there. And that'll be good there. This episode's already been choppy enough. We don't want to cut again. There we go. And right, chop. And this is just so we can put one more piece of uh, reeds right there. I really want to do this in computer craft, like off camera too. <laughs> I think it'll be interesting. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just for the the nerdy factor. Uh, let's just. Hurry up and get these guys real quick. And then I'm not sure what we're going to do about a sprinkler. 
I don't know if we'll use a sprinkler. With the farm this big, I'm not really sure if we're going to need one. So, who knows, we might not use one. We'll just kind of leave it uh, by itself. All by us lonesome. I forgot uh, conduits, by the way. So we'll put you there, so you'll eject into there. And I think that's good. Let's go grab some conduits real quick. So that we can actually give it power. And we'll be good. Now we can go ahead and wrap this episode up. Alright, so where's our nearest Tesseract? We could go into this guy. Eh, we won't. Alright, so let's see. Hello, Mr. Tesseract. You're gonna come with me. Am I gonna have enough? That is the question. doesn't know how to make item ducks? Really? I never taught it this? Crap. It's never gonna give me the same the same tens, is it? No, it's not. I can already tell. So give me dose of them puppies. And item ducks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of my life. There we go. Alright, encode. Throw that guy in there. Okay, we gotta be able to get some stuff out of our system here. We'll throw all this away, all this dirt. Yeah, I definitely don't need all this. And we had some conduits on us. Get rid of that cobble, canola seeds, this stuff. We'll keep these on. Nah. Get rid of the berry. We don't need the sprinkler system or anything at the moment. And I think we're good. Alright, so let's go finish this puppy up. We're running super long here today. And I didn't even make any. <laughs> I don't want to finish this episode, obviously, huh? So come on, make me some. Thank you. And let's head to the farms. Alright, there we go. So... And we'll hook this guy right here. Boop. There we go. So now we want to wrench this guy. And let's get some wood real quick. And that'll be good. Give me a lever. <laughs> and totally didn't want a button. No, thank you. And there we go. There's our lever. There we go. So that guy will export. And he's going to run all the way over there, which is cool. Now the question is, getting uh, power for this guy. That's going to be interesting. So, what I say we do is we just come right here. And how are we going to do this? That's fine. And we'll come right here. Shut up, sheep. They're getting on my nerves already. Alright, so... Then what you're going to do is you're going to follow this guy there. And this way... Uh... We don't have to worry about anything. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Perfect. So, now this guy, you're going to come all the way over here. Whoops. I keep double placing accidentally. This guy is just going to come all the way under here. There we go. I guess he could have gone right there. 
Yeah, whatever. Okay, so now you should have lots and lots of energy, right? Yes, you do. Okay, perfect. So, one last sleep. And we'll call this good. We'll go set up a couple sugar canes. And then we will be good. Alright. So, what we're going to want to do is hook up one here. And we're pretty much just going to follow it. We can't place one here, unfortunately. But this will at least help us keep some uniform, kind of, <laughs> the same, uh... Same design throughout, and we're gonna place some more than just this. These rows. So, for example, here, we're not there. So pretty much, we'll follow these rows here, and that should be good. Not there. So yeah, this is pretty much it. And this should uh, get us lots of sugar cane. We're actually needing it a lot more than I thought we would, honestly. I didn't think we would really need this much sugar cane, but I seem to be going through it quite a lot. And it's definitely kind of been long overdue uh, for us needing a farm for it, of course. Looks like we're going to have enough to finish off this level. Perfect. Anything we're missing here? Doesn't look like it. I got, uh, well, we don't need two here. Because I don't think it'll reach that far. Yeah, it will. What am I thinking? Of course it'll reach that far. Right there, right there. Because I think we even need some right here. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to see what it does. I'm going to keep my eye on it for sure. And we'll get an update next episode on how this is doing. See how much sugar cane we are producing. It'll be lots and lots and lots. And we'll never have problems making powder. Not powder. <laughs> we'll never have problems making paper again. Yeah. This is overkill. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, a uh, like and a favorite would be very much appreciated. Or one of the two. Or whatever you want. I don't really care. Don't do either of them. That's up to y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of here for today, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and, yeah, we had to move that redstone. Because <laughs> it was actually turning the harvester off. Just FYI. If you guys even made it this far. Probably talking to myself right now. Get lost. Yeah.